Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and this is an extract from our Intro to VS Code course. The course is mainly centered around using VS Code because IDEs are incredibly powerful, and VS Code is the Ferrari of by far the most popular IDE out there right now. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like it, you can. Uh, we have the course, I believe, is over four hours long, and of course we have a double your money back guarantee, so there's absolutely nothing to risk if you want to try it. Hope you enjoy it. If you enjoy, learn something here, please like the video. It really helps us out. In this video, I'm going to just mention something that is available in VS Code that is extremely helpful. I have it enabled by default. And that is having AI to help me code certain things. So there are extensions out there that allow you to connect to ChatGPT. The one that I'm using at the moment is GitHub Copilot. The reason why I'm using this one is because it is created by Microsoft. It is you know, created specifically for VS Code mainly. And it allows me to kind of like integrate with my code as I'm you know, writing something. So the point here is this particular extension is paid. So you can install it, but then you would have to have a paid subscription to their service. There are others, though, that are free. I, if I remember right, uh, if I remember correctly, there was chat, uh, GPT or something like that, like ChatGPT or GPT. This, I, if I remember right, is one that is free to use, but you will have to have a token in ChatGPT on OpenAI, right? Now, that is also something that you have to pay for. The, the token that you pay for from OpenAI is extremely cheap. You, you, you pay almost nothing to use it. While Copilot, for example, the basic starts at $20 a month or something. So depending on what your budget is, if you really want to use these kind of things, you can just go ahead and get yourself a token, go ahead and install the extension. And in my case here, one of the things that it has, one of the extensions that have to do with Copilot here um, is the Copilot chat. Those two extensions, they go hand in hand. You cannot have Copilot chat if you do not have Copilot installed. This one is what it does is that it allows me to have a view, which I have docked on my right side here, that it has a chat uh, window that is basically chat GPT, but it is focused specifically on coding. So it will answer many uh, coding related questions. And if you deviate from that, like ask it to write a story or something, it will tell you that it's not meant for that. So as soon as you try that, it will just tell you, oh, that is not a good, uh, I cannot do that because I'm focused on programming. But mainly, I use it to resolve issues or brainstorm ways of doing something specific. I just tell it what the problem is. Um, I just talk to it as I will. So I just tell it what I want to do. This is the function. It tells me what the problem might be. I tell it that her answer didn't work and so on. And she tries different things. So it is a way for me to brainstorm or have something, someone to talk to, so to speak, to kind of like, especially when I'm kind of like blocked or something, that's when I would use it. But mainly it also helps when I'm kind of like, having repetitive code, that's where it shines. If I have something like this, uh, this variable here, and I don't want to write everything over and over again, I'm going to create an, another variable that is very similar to that. I just start typing the second variable, and it usually does a very good job at predicting what I'm going to write next. And you can see that it's predicting it because it's grayed out. If I hit tab, it goes ahead and predicts that part. And when I continue typing, right, it would continue predicting what I'm going to do, so on and so forth. Every time I hit enter, it gives me the next part. And many times, you see, I just finished the code. I didn't have to type it. If I do this very quickly, it would just be a, a one second thing. But in other times, it suggests the whole text. So if I try again, and if I keep doing that, script two, if I keep doing that, at some point it goes ahead and yeah, there it goes. It suggests the whole thing for me and I don't have to type that. So, and usually I just do this and then do very small modifications here, here and there. 
So as you're coding and as it is looking at what you're writing, it gets really good at predicting what's next. And um, that's what I use it for, especially for repetitive things that I do over and over again or that have a very similar structure. That's where I use Copilot to help me with. So really good integration. I really love it. I use it. Just wanted to let you know that that is a thing that is available in VS Code.